Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is uh, this is a build that takes a lot longer than than normal for me, but it's because I have this big house restoration project going on. But I wanted to give you a, a, a little update of the, some things I have done since my last video. I have made a beam here. And uh, you can see this beam is glued in. These are not, but this will eventually be the hatch, the hatch supports, and it also supports the deck. I've glued these pieces in. I think I did that last time. I have, uh, this is not glued in yet, but I have made, if I want to, sail with the genoa overlapping foresail i have a four stay here and this will be glued but you can also see screws so once this is glued in it's going to be really strong this also has screws in it that goes into these beams and this will be glued together and it will have a couple of more uh, pieces of wood to to make this I, I don't build, I see some people build really, really a lot of inner structure, but I, I, I find the, this is, this is where you have all the loads. So you have a, a, a massive, uh, center frame and, uh, and then o o of course that you have good, um, shroud plates and you can see the little hole. Oh, the camera focuses here and that will have a turnbuckle that goes down to the key bolt so, so you can see this beam will actually have another piece of wood on top of it and it will be th this will, will be cut down a little bit and then I have these two pieces that goes on top of that piece of wood and that creates this this beam I was talking about it makes this extremely strong I would think that you could actually lift the whole boat in one of these shroud plates if you need to and uh, but I like to build that strong and uh, and know that it's it's not going anywhere <clears throat> uh, I'm still working on a redesign on this. I will clean it up, make it a little prettier, but I like the basic idea and uh, and, and this will be able to, you can, you can uh, this, this forward bolt is pretty big, but as you can see, you can, you can take that out, out of the boat. And, uh, and I can actually shorten the, the hatch. The hatch doesn't have to be that long. I might put a piece of wood here. Then, as always, my videos have incredibly good sound in them. So, uh, tonight I was gonna uh, glue this and and glue the four stay in place and um, we'll get a little bit further on the build and then we will start thinking about the rudder and I have I have a rudder blank that I had in mind and this is a 3d printed piece that I will put a piece of carbon over and uh, with a carbon fiber shaft and this one actually broke. I think I have another one, but it, it wouldn't matter. It doesn't matter when you put carbon over it, but And if you uh, whip it good, it, it becomes a glue. No, I'm just joking. I, I have, 
I have uh, some some of this white white, white powder. Um, I will fill in what it's called. So we have a glue. So we're going to go ahead and. I wish I could have had some good music on when I do this. This might be a little bit boring, just fast work. Just getting some epoxy down in there. And then we'll put a little bit of epoxy underneath. Like as I told you earlier, I said I was going to put a, a bolt through here, but <clears throat> since I have glued it now, it's, it's, it's not going to happen. But uh, actually, we can we can roughen this up a little bit. Okay. I've done this before, and it's it's very once the deck is glued in, it becomes very it got, it's very strong. So. I, This is really all it needs. And I will put a little bit of epoxy underneath here too. And that kind of glues the plate. bit of epoxy in the nuts. It's good this channel is not for kids. <laughs> uh, put epoxy on here. Make sure you do all the nuts. Oh. So in here and I'm wearing gloves today shocker so this fall I will be uh, putting out maybe not one video a week but I will be putting up more videos than it's just been working on a 300 year old house for almost three months now so but the kitchen is is getting there so it's it's still a lot of work to be done but I'm, I'm slowly but surely getting there I'll put a little bit of epoxy on here on top of here and here Squeeze that together. And <clears throat> this hull was. I took the the wor the worst this hull you can see up here in the bow. It, it was cracked, and deliberately because I I cut the the stern off the hull. I wasn't sure <laughs> that I was going to be be able to to do it to do what I did. So I, I used the worst hull. I have a, a very nice hull still uh, that is not built yet. And uh, so 
So that's why this this he was he was not put together correctly by me. So uh, I I used it for for this. I think it's still going to be a, a nice boat. I'm, I'm quite excited about getting. This will not be visible, so I will add a little bit of extra epoxy. This will be uh, sanded flat, of course, but where it's not visible, you can add a little bit of extra epoxy just to, to get a strong bond. We'll put a clamp on that. And I'm Swedish, if you wonder why, why my English is really weird. It's because I live in Sweden. And I am Swedish. But today I'm, I'm working on an Australian boat. So I, I, I put a, an Australian t-shirt on today. <clears throat> so down in here, if, if you don't manage on the... You know, the first time you can always go back and add some epoxy. I have plenty of epoxy mixed here, so I'm I'm, I'm really gonna try to get a little bit of a radius down here without messing it up too bad. But you can always go back in, like you know, the day after, go back and glue it again, and the, the two epoxy mixes are, are gonna fuse together. you like me haven't done a perfect job on the wood pieces here you can always add a little bit of epoxy and no 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 it will look perfect This is this is just one way to skin a cat. I mean, I'm I'm sure there are many other ways of doing it, and and this is just one way of doing it. And I kind of wing it. I every boat I build, I I try to improve it a little bit and and do it a little bit better. Like on this one, the ring frames I made here. That's that's the first time it looks like that in any of my boats. It, it it has looked similar, but this is the first time it looks exactly like that. So I uh, I try to improve a little bit every boat I build. So I need a clamp right there. You know what you're doing you can put a piece of uh, gland wrap on there and you don't have to break that off I'll, I'll break it off before I let it go I'm putting a little bit of epoxy on the sides here too to increase the, the the so I'm afraid that was all for today and uh, like I said this fall this build will speed up and uh, 
I will try to document it as best as I can. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll, um, I won't be a month, I promise. See you soon. Bye.